Hello, I'm Adam Pacitti for WhatCulture.com. Today, I am joined by none other than The Big Show. Yes, this is not a gigantic, you know, Rick Ross over this here. Is this is terrifying. The spotlight's a little bright somewhere. So, let's see, look, if I do this. Hi, how are you? I feel like, <laughs> I feel like Clint Eastwood and Two Mules were Sister Sarah over here. I like it. So we've had a chance to play WWE 2K17 right. today. How do you like the game? It's great. It's absolutely, the, the roster is huge. Uh, right. The career mode is great. Just, it looks amazing. Right. One thing that stood out is your in-game rating uh, is 83, which is the same as Xavier Woods. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Uh, most of the guys that designed, at one time I think Jericho had a higher game rating than I did. Um, they're confused by the amount of work that I do for real and putting guys over in a sports entertainment venue as to my true power. So I'm going to get these 2K guys off to the side and you need to jack my rating up. Because if you don't think for real I couldn't throw Dean Ambrose through a wall. But anyway, no, I'm just kidding. It, it is what it is. You know, it's all about popularity. So who the younger kids like and who do they want to play with? So. So, so you can see that your rating might be decreased just because perhaps you've, you've not been as exposed heavily no, on it's TV? it's because I've, I, either way, and I've been around a long time, who knows. I've always been a workhorse anyway, so 83 is fine. It's you happy right. with that? No, I'm not happy with it. There's not much I can do about it. You know, there's, there's not a good, uh, there's not a lot of evidence for me to build a good case. So It's right there. Have a play. Nah, I'm going to have a little play later. I'm just going to make sure you guys aren't around. So I'm, if I haul off and throw the remote through the TV, you guys don't have it on camera. Gotcha. We'll if I filming. get suplexed we'll by Rey Mysterio, I'll flip out. So. There's CCTV all around here. We'll get the footage somehow. Damn it. That's what we I do. It's Big what Brother's do. always watching. Exactly. Right. So we got a chance to speak to the New Day. Speaking of Xavier Woods. Right. I um, love Xavier Woods. He's, he's great. Um, they said that backstage, uh, when the New Day got together, you weren't keen on the idea of them uh, being oh, they uh, love you, telling this story. You, 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 you approach guns. Kofi Kingston. Is, is this right? Yeah, here's the story. I didn't know Big E and I didn't know Xavier Woods when I first came. I mean, I knew him, but I don't know him. I have a thing. Uh, I'm an old school guy. So until I've been in the ring with you and been up and down the road with you, I don't want to know your name. I don't want to know who you are because I don't know how long you're going to be here. I'm not investing personal time in you until you get what you need to get done to get in the ring. Kofi I'd spent a lot of time with. I was a big fan of his athleticism, his, uh, his work, his, his work ethic, and who Kofi is as a human being is a fantastic guy. So when I saw this little trio going, you know, I was looking at three-man band and all the other things that happened. I was like, Kofi, you need to cut these guys loose. Because when I was looking at Kofi, I was looking at Kofi as intercontinental champion, mm -hmm. maybe getting a run for a, uh, uh, a heavy title at some point, a big, a big title at some point. Because um, I saw Kofi as that kind of competitive athlete that given an opportunity could do that road. And I, when I told Kofi, I said, you need to dump the two bums because they're, all they're going to do is drag it. They were two feet away. Like, they were there's there. Xavier and E, and here's Kofi. I'm like, you need to dump these two. I mean, they're not going to get you where you need to be. And Kofi's like, well, you know, we're, we're trying, we got a little thing here. We're going to make it work, you know. I said, all right. So then I watched them, and I came back. I said, completely disregard everything that I said. What you three guys have is magic. I'm a huge fan, and that's why they love that story. Because Woods and Big E were like, oh, he's just, uh, yeah, I don't know you. I don't, sorry. So you didn't think they were going to be around for long? I don't know if they will or not. They have to, it's different. You can't walk in like it's, uh, you know, um, you know, the, the chocolate factory and everybody hugs and everybody gets along. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, this is, this is business, you know, it's not like Willy Wonka's, you know, it's, oh, I got a golden ticket, I'm here. No, you got here, now you have, that just means you're one step closer to getting fired. You know, I tell all the younger guys when they come up, okay, you spent two years in NXT, you worked hard, you're at WWE, you can't sit on your ass and rest on your laurels. Now they've invested this time in you, now you're one step closer to getting fired. Right. Because if you don't make it or produce now, they'll just ship you out the door and then come somebody else. It's business. So I'm not going to take the time to really invest and get to know you until I see what you do in the ring, how you conduct yourself, what character you're made of, and how you're going to contribute to our business as a whole. Gotcha. So you were trying to get them to prove themselves. Well, I didn't care if they proved themselves or not. I was worried about my friend Kofi because gotcha. I don't know him. I don't care. Mm -hmm. I, until they earn something, they're single cell amoebas. But they've gone above and beyond, and they are incredibly talented. And I know uh, I've been beat up so many times by Big E. I'm going I'm to stooge the world off to something. In words with friends, Big E Langston is the rudest 
words with friend <laughs> bully you have ever seen. Big E Langston, you are a bully in words with friends. Can you give me an example? What's he, what's he doing uh, to you? He'd be okay? like 300 to like five. Gotcha. Like, you know, words like za and chi <laughs> uh, for 57 points or something like that. Like, he'd beat the snot out of me pretty bad. And I was like, gotcha. hey, man, I'm, I'm just starting to play this. He goes, well, you'll get better with good competition. So uh, Big E Langston is, uh, is a bully with words with friends, yes. Absolutely. You announced your retirement. Um, I didn't announce my retirement. This is what everyone said. Oh, I know. No. Oh my God. It, I did my research, and it said you had announced your retirement for 2017. My Big popular non-what culture websites are reporting this. Is this yeah. not true? It's misconstrued. Okay. What I said was, I have a little over a year and a half left on this contract. Right. What I said was my last big spectacle main event featured match at WrestleMania will probably be this one with Shaq. Right. Because after Shaq, what do I do to top that? I've done Mayweather, I've done Shaq, I've done Aki Bono, you know, I've done the triple threat with Cena and Edge. I've had a lot of big WrestleMania moments. I don't see me getting another big one like that with all the talent we have and where I'm at. Right. You know what I mean? So, no, I, there's no retirement. It's not like WrestleMania. That, no, that's not it. You're not going anywhere. No, I'm not going anywhere. I'll probably be here another 10 years doing side stuff. Good. But, you know, it's like you're always retiring. I'm like, I'm not retiring. It's all I, I made a statement that, you know, I have a year and a half left on this contract. And, you know, that's, that's up to WWE if they pick me up or not. Is there anything still there that you want to achieve that you haven't been able to do yet? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I don't know. Storyline wise, I mean, I've had more turns than NASCAR. So, I mean, <laughs> you have. I mean, I've, I've been broke. I've been uh, um, fired. I've been impotent. I'm going to die soon. Um, uh, I've had crap sprayed on me by Eddie Guerrero. I've uh, had uh, Shane jump off the Titan Tron. Uh, Brock Lesnar. Uh, boss man uh, stole my dad's casket. Um, uh, Brock suplexed me all over the place. Um, put me on a stretcher match. I mean, I've done so much. Yeah, there's always opportunity to do other things. Um, I'm good. I really am. I don't have any regrets in my career. Uh, I know, like you were talking about the uh, the uh, video game cloud score. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like, yeah. You know, you, you've you, done so much. I've done so much. I don't have anything to be upset about. Absolutely. I really don't. Like I'm, I'm happy for the newer kids, and I hope they do well and get opportunities and and have learned through the change of the business. So I hope they have long careers too. Because trust me, having a a 20 plus year career in this business is not an easy feat. It's Absolutely. not an easy feat. It's very hard on your body. It's very hard on a lot of things. But I think the changes that they've made in the past 10 years, you're going to have a lot of superstars that will have. Uh, longer careers. Absolutely. We're going to finish up with a bit of word association here. Oh, so the God. first thing that comes to mind. I've been dieting, so you might not understand this, but go ahead. When I say uh, Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal, word association, athlete foot powder. <laughs> Eric Bischoff. Eric Bischoff, Chinese food. Don't ask me why. <laughs> first thing that came to my head, you said Bischoff, Chinese food. Maybe Eric Karate, Chopsticks, I don't know, that's Kung Fu, I don't know. Works for me. And finally, Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Uh, God! No, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um... Insane. Uh, insane. We hear in a that good way and a bad way. He's, he's brilliant. Um, he's eccentric. Uh, and he's just like no one else I've ever met. So, but yeah, insane is a good quality. Yeah. A good quality. Big Show, thank you so much. Thank you it's very, been an very absolute much. pleasure. Thanks, I've been Adam for WhatCulture.com. We'll see you soon. Do you want to see WCPW live but are allergic to the awful people of Newcastle? WCPW is coming to Greater Manchester on Saturday the 8th of October to the Altrium Silver Blades Arena. Your ticket won't just get you a stack card featuring Cody Rhodes vs Kurt Angle, but will also grant you access to our first ever fan convention during the day. Meet the What Culture guys, have photos with your favourite WCPW wrestlers, a host of other surprises and VIP members will get to meet Kurt Angle and Cody Rhodes in person. Tickets can be bought at WC.PW.